because I was actually wearing these as like booty compression shorts. Hey guys, it's Nina and I am back with another video. So I wanted to show you how I extend the life of my braid out. There are some little things I do just to help keep my hair crinkly as long as possible because this is my absolute favorite way to wear my locks and I just feel more like myself with them versus having straight hair. Actually, my last video, I'll link to that, but I did a braided style and I wore that for three days. I took the braids down and then this is a result. So it's been four days. And I'm really happy with how it looks still. It's definitely fallen a little bit, but that is natural for braid outs. So if you're interested, stay tuned. The first thing I do is I start with wet locks. Sometimes I'll do the braids right after a shampoo, but most of the time I just, I like to retwist my hair first, let it be straight for a couple days, and then I'll do braids and I will just wet my hair. I don't use setting foam every single time, but I find that my braid outs always look better. They always last longer with setting foam. Personally, I like the look of waves versus crinkles, but in my case, the crinkles actually last longer, so it's better for me to do smaller sections versus larger ones. So for me, one of the keys to keeping my braid outs fresh is how I tie my hair up at night. I used to do the pineapple method where I would just, I would flip my hair over and then I would like tuck it under a scarf, but oop. <laughs> I found that that was making my braid outs flatter and also I didn't really like, oop, <laughs> let me fix that. I didn't like the idea of like putting pressure on my edges at night. So I stopped doing that a while ago. What I started doing is scrunching my hair under a stocking cap. Um, I have, I don't know where my ugly little cap is if you've seen some of my videos. For this video, I have a pair of women's tights, just an old pair of opaque tights. And what I do is I cut along the seam any seam front or back, it doesn't matter. But I cut the seam a little bit just to give myself some more space. Cause you know I got a big head. And I stretch that out a little bit to get ready to put it on. And also I cut the legs off of this cause I was actually wearing these as like booty compression shorts. Bruh. Not so much Spanx, but just, I don't like having no jiggly booty. So how you position your hair in the tights is everything. I take the locks in the front because the locks in the front tend to fall the fastest. I find that it does help keep the definition there. So I'm taking the tights and I'm putting them over my head. And then what I do is just push and scrunch the locks up into the cap. And I'm trying not to touch them. I'm just taking my hands and just like kind of poking them. So I have this nice little, so I have this nice little kind of bun on one side. The scrunching helps keep the shape. I've tried to do this with different types of scarves or bonnets. And I really like the stocking cap because it applies some pressure to the hair. Like it allows you to get things really tight. I don't mean tight on your head, but it allows the hair to stay tight, like a hair nut. When I would wear long lock socks where my locks were able to flow, things would just be flat, like, you know, the next day. I try to sleep on my back. I usually toss and turn a lot before I finally end up on my back like an hour and a half later. The only drawback that I can say about this method is that this, this stocking cap does cause some frizz at the crown. It's not really satiny, and I think that's what helps it maintain the structure of the style, but then at the same time, you kinda get some frizz up here. I don't give a dog on. In the morning, I can just smooth all this down if I want to, or if I don't feel like it, I don't do it. And I also do use this when I have my hair curled. In terms of how long it actually lasts, probably like a week or so, I don't know, it might be a little bit longer than a week. For me, that's actually pretty good because when I wasn't doing this method, my braid out would last about two days and then I had to braid it every night. So yeah, that's all I do. If you decide to try this method, definitely let me know and thanks for watching.